Let's look at this limit, the limit when u approaches to 2, and then here we have square root of 4u plus 1, minus 3, all over u minus 2. And notice that 4u plus 1 right here is inside of the square root. Okay, so let's plug in 2 into all the u's to see what we get. If we plug in 2 into here, we get 4 times 2, which is 8. 8 plus 1 is going to be 9. 9 inside of the square root becomes a 3. 3 minus 3 is a 0 on the top. And on the denominator, plug in 2 into this u, we get 2 minus 2, which is 0 as well. 0 over 0, we have to do more work. In this situation, because we have the square root, the best bet is let's multiply the top and bottom by the conjugate. So we'll do that. So I will multiply out the top by square root of 4u plus 1. This was a subtraction. I have to have a plus right here. I will add the 3. And we also do the same on the denominator u plus u minus 2 times the same thing, square root of 4u plus 1 and then plus 2. And because we're only trying to fix the top, because that's where the square root is, we are just going to multiply out the top first to see what we get. So let me write down the limit when u approaches to 2. When you're trying to multiply out the conjugates, we can use a pretty good shortcut because this is in the form of a minus b times a plus b. We know that a minus b times a plus b will give us a squared minus b squared. We can use this shortcut. In another word, on the top right here, when we multiply this out, I just need to look at the first thing and square that. Square and the square root cancel each other out. I will just get 4u plus 1 first and I have to subtract the second thing, which is the 3, and then don't forget to square that. So 3 squared is 9. I'm going to have a minus 9 after that. We are not going to multiply out the denominator because I didn't want to fix this. Just keep it as how it is. That's the trick. So u minus 2 times this, square root of 4u plus 1, and then plus 3, like that. Let's take a look of what we can do on the numerator. 4u plus 1 minus 9, of course we can write this as 4u minus 8. Furthermore, 4u minus 8, they have a 4 in common. I can factor out a 4. Let's factor out a 4 and then we'll have u minus 2. And guess what? I see I have a u minus 2 on the top and then we also have a u minus 2 on the bottom. Of course, I can cancel this out and cancel that out. So, this is going to be the same as the limit when u approaches to 2. On the top, I just have a 4 altogether. And on the denominator, I have this right here. Square root of 4u plus 1 and then plus 3. Last step, that's plugging 2 into the u and usually that's it because oh, I can't solve the 0 over 0 already. On the top, I have the 4 over square root of 4 times u. u is 2 because plugging 2 into u plus 1 and then plus 3 after that. 4 on the top. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 plus 1 is 9. Square root of 9 is 3. But plus 3 is 6. This is going to be 4 over 6. Of course, we can reduce fraction. 4 over 6 is going to be 2 thirds. And that will be the answer, 2 thirds.